Okay, so now we're ready to start our program and I usually just open my C drive which is where I have a lot of things obviously. Here I have DOS box for Windows <clears throat> and if I look a little farther down I have PQ method. This DOS box for Windows is an older one I believe and if I open up PQ method I see that there's DOS box inside I've used Quantel before. This, these are all uh, more recent projects <clears throat> that I can use. Here's projects in here. It used to be that all of your projects had to be in the projects folder and it doesn't seem to be quite the case anymore. Oh, I guess that's not where I want to go. I'll go back, um, back up to DOS box for Windows. And here's my icon for DOSBox. And I have ever so slightly changed my DOSBox. Um, usually when you run, if you run just DOSBox, it'll put you in this C, right? And you have to say mount C, right? And it puts you in this local directory and then you can make a path, right? <clears throat> I added something to my file and it's this CD which back in DOS land meant change directory backslash PQ method. So if you run it and it gives you the C drive, all you have to do is say change directory backslash PQ method and you'll be right here in the PQ method prompt. From here we just simply type in PQ method, that's the executable file name. And when we run that, we open up PQ method software. You notice that I have a lot of things on my desktop and then you can see that the DOS box is actually relatively small. That's okay, we just have to, to live with that. I'm gonna start off by potentially calling my path or my project. Uh, we'll call it uh, Q, Q Workshop 2012 right Q workshop 2012 because I'm going to enter the sorts that you've been sending in and I can hit enter and it brings us to a very simple looking menu right you notice that up here where it says current project is it reminds me what the name of my project is I usually write this down on a piece of paper or I could come over here where I have my little post-its on, on my uh, computer. And I've already got my letters of support. So we can get rid of this. <clears throat> and we'll say that PQ method, right? We'll call, we'll remind ourselves that this is QW2012. <clears throat> I find it's easiest if I do that. Otherwise, I, I can't remember what it was called. And certainly we can find out what it's called because um, we can always go over here back to our um, PQ method folder. And if we do that, we come down. <clears throat> I have always way too much stuff. We <clears throat> now let's go this way. If we come down, right, so it's QW, so we should be able to find it. It should have already created some files for us. <clears throat> and there they are, the QW files. So notice that these are empty at this point, right? Because we haven't done anything. All we've done is name what our, our study is going to be called. And here are the files that it automatically creates. This one right here, the STA file, this is where our statements are going to go and a lot of times people can go right to the program. Oh, that's not where we want to be. <clears throat> we can go right to our program here. You notice that the first thing we can do is number one and it states where we can put in our statements. <clears throat> All right, it asks what the file name is or we can hit enter to enter the statements right now. <clears throat> and it's gonna launch an external editor. So we hit enter to continue. And what we're really in is a very simple DOS uh, editor. And if I wanted to put my statements in here, 